In today's video, I'll talk about five things I like the most and I don't like the most about the DJI Osmo Pocket. Hola, good morning everyone, it's Richard Wong from New Zealand again. So today we are going to look at the DJI Osmo Pocket. I will tell you the 5 things I like the most about this gimbal and also the 5 things I don't really like about this gimbal after using it for about a week. Okay, the first thing is I really like the build quality and the design of the DJI Osmo Pocket. Uh, when I took it out of the box the first time, I was actually a bit surprised by how well made the um, DJI Osmo Pocket is. The metal body feels really well made and um, when you hold it on hand, it feels very premium as well. It doesn't have any um, plasticky or toyish feeling at all when you're holding it. So uh, I was very surprised and uh, very happy about it as well. And it's also quite easily you can see that DJI has spent a lot of time and effort in the overall design of the device. Um, just look at how the reversible smartphone plug works and um, for example look at the, um, the carry case, the supply carry case. When you put the device inside the carry case, you can still charge uh, the device or um, swap the memory card out in or just look at all those details. It just tells you um, DJI has definitely spent a lot of time and efforts just look at every design details. Now despite the small body size, DJI still managed to uh, mount two microphones onto the Osmo Pocket. One is facing backwards when one is at the bottom of the gimbal. Now the quality of the audio is alright. I think sometimes it's good but sometimes it's quite bad. And also because um, one of the microphones is facing backward and there's no forward facing microphone so if you are pointing the camera forward so there is no microphone to pick up the uh, the audio from the front and also another problem i find is that because of the position of the two microphone if you are not being careful when you are um, holding the gimbal your finger could be blocking both of the microphone and that means the audio would turn out to be pretty bad So the Osmo Pocket may be quite a small device, but it has tons of features. So you can use it to capture photo up to 12 megapixel resolution with raw output. Uh, you can use it to capture panorama photo and you can use it to record video up to 4K resolution and also can record timeless video and also slow motion video. And when you're recording 4K video, you can capture up to 60 frames per second or when you are recording slow motion video, you can go up to 120 frames per second. And uh, because also because of the very smooth gimbal action, so you can actually use the Osmo Pocket to create some pretty cinematic, nice, high quality video footage using just this little device. Now, while the Osmo Pocket does have tons of features, unfortunately, some of the features or settings is only accessible when you attach your smartphone to the Osmo Pocket. I can understand some of the feature why it's only accessible when you have a smartphone attached because it has a much bigger screen um, that allows you to do, change some of the settings. But some of the settings, for example, some of the frame rate when you are capturing the video, is only selectable when you have the smartphone attached. That doesn't really make too much sense to me. So yeah, that means sometimes you do have to plug in your smartphone just because you want to change some of the settings. So I really hope DJI can make some changes to the firmware in the future to allow more uh, settings that can be selectable just by using the Osmo Pocket by itself. Okay, the DJI Osmo Pocket is a uh, stabilization and also the tracking feature, they both works very well. It's not perfect, but consider uh, a gimbal of this size and its price, I think it does its job exceptionally well. 
You can even try to hand out the gimbal and um, try to shoot a thumbnail video and the result would turn out actually pretty okay as long as you try to make your hand uh, reasonably steady and the gimbal itself and actually try to uh, compensate any of the movement you have made and um, it makes the timeless video would turn out pretty smooth as well. Now for the feature like time lapse and the tracking to work the best, you probably want to place the um, Osmo Pocket on a stable, steady platform. Unfortunately, there is no tripod mount on the gimbal at all. I don't know whether it's an oversight or there maybe it's just some limitation. And there's not even an official accessory which allow you to just easily mount a uh, have a tripod mount um, that attached to the gimbal. So um, yeah, don't really know why. So I think I just have to wait for the third party accessory to come up with a nice tripod mount that can be connected to the DJI Osmo Pocket. Now another thing I really like about the Osmo Pocket is just how easy is it to use. There are only two buttons on the gimbal itself and then you have the touch screen. So it's not like there are tons of buttons and controls that you have to figure out how to use. Basically one button is the power, the other one is the record button. And then if you um, double click the power button, it will send itself three times to flip it from um, front to the rear. Um, and then the other one can be controlled easily through the touch interface. So if you have used any gimbal before, you can pretty much pick up this gimbal and then you know how to use all the basic features straight away. And even if you have never used a gimbal before, I'm pretty sure um, after an afternoon, then you should be able to figure out pretty much all the feature, even some of the more advanced feature, how to use it um, with the DJI Osmo Pocket. And another very important thing is that like um, I had a smartphone gimbal before um, but every time I want to use it I have to you know bring out the smartphone and then the gimbal separately um, mount the smartphone onto the gimbal and then turn on both of them separately and then if I want to control the uh, smartphone from the gimbal I have to link them using Bluetooth so it would take not too long but maybe like an a minute or so to set up everything properly, link them up, sync them up properly. So that is not too bad, but after doing a few times, you starting to feel like uh, it's a quite a slow process. With the Osmo Pocket, you pretty much just bring out, remove it from the case, turn on the power, and you're ready to shoot. So that is definitely one big advantage using a uh, all-in-one gimbal camera device compared to using a uh, smartphone with a smartphone gimbal or maybe a GoPro with a GoPro gimbal separately. Now one thing I definitely noticed when using the Osmo Pocket is that it warms up quite quickly and easily when you are shooting video. Right now here in New Zealand is summer but it's not very hot yet. It's only around 20 degrees Celsius but um, even with just 20 degrees Celsius, um, when recording using the Osmo Pocket, after a few minutes, you can start feeling the uh, the whole device starting to warm up quite a bit. So I'm not too sure how well it can handle the heat with the overheat very easily when you are using this device on a very hot day. Last but definitely not least, the thing I like the most about the Osmo Pocket is its size. It is really, really tiny. Now, I have already saw a lot of uh, promotional video and photos and some of the early reviews that I know that this is a small device and that's why um, everyone's talking about it. But still, when I got the unit and I took it out of the box, I was like, wow, this is really, really small. Um, I can definitely very easily put this device into the, the case and then put it in my pocket easily. That means I can carry it with me almost every day, even I'm not planning to use it. There's a problem with the other gimbal I had before is even the smartphone gimbal it is still a decent size so if I'm not planning to use it I almost never want to carry it with me but with this uh, Osmo pocket I don't have this problem I feel like I can just chuck it into my bag or pocket all the time and carry it with me all the time and also when I'm shooting with it my hand wouldn't get tired I can hold it uh, like this right now for a few minutes and my hand would not get tired at all and another big advantage because of the small size is that when you want to shoot some video on the street holding the Osmo pocket 
uh, people doesn't feel intrusive when you are uh, recording video using this next to them. People won't look at you like you are doing something crazy or silly. Um, yeah, people would maybe look at you and then they won't look a second time because it's just a small and tiny uh, device. So that is definitely a big advantage if you want to shoot some video using this DJI Osmo Pocket. There are definitely a few downsides with this small body size. One of them is the small screen on the unit. Um, the screen is big enough and good enough so you can definitely see what you're shooting very clearly and if you want to um, use the touch interface to select the settings and things like that, it's definitely capable of doing that very easily. But if you want to, for example, check whether you are actually in focus or not, then the small screen is not big enough for you to do that. You will have to plug in your smartphone and use the bigger screen on your smartphone for you to check whether you are um, the focus is correct or not. And another limitation is the small battery. So the DJI Osmo Pocket has a built-in non-replaceable battery. The official battery life is 120 minutes when you are shooting 1080p video. But I found that when I'm shooting 4K video, the battery life is a lot shorter than that. I think maybe one hour or so is the maximum I can get out of the battery. Um, so good thing is you can charge the battery uh, even when you are using through the USB-C port. So if you have a USB power bank, then um, probably you want to plug it into the Osmo Pocket all the time if you are planning to do some long uh, recording using um, the device throughout the day. Otherwise, they also have a optional charging case that you can buy. So every time after you finish using it, you put it back into the case and then you will top up the battery for you. But regardless, don't expect the battery life to be really good with the DJI Osmo Pocket. As you probably know, I don't think this is a perfect product. But despite that, um, I really enjoy shooting with the DJI Osmo Pocket. Uh, I really think this is a game changer. Game changer is a word that I normally don't really like because almost pretty much every uh, every second pro that you see uh, on YouTube, someone will call it a game changer. But the DJI Osmo Pocket, to me, I think it is really a game changer. This is the first time that I can have such a small uh, portable gimbal that I can put in the pocket anytime and you can still shoot high quality 4k video and also some photo as well so yeah if you are a vlogger this would be a very good very portable uh, camera setup that you can carry with you all the time if you are planning to have a holiday going somewhere and this would be uh, also a very very good travel camera as well um, I really wish I have this with me when uh, two months ago when I went to Japan and have a holiday there with the family because if I had it with me I'm sure I would have taken a lot more video footage uh, because it's just so so convenient I can carry it with me all the time and I can shoot with it like just in five seconds I can start shooting so uh, what do you think about the DJI Osmo Pocket do you like it or do you think um, you're not going to buy one? Feel free to leave a comment below. I'll be really interested to hear what you think about the DJI Osmo Pocket. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you next time.